and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, how po yung phone ko ngayon dahil gagawa tayo ng what's on my phone. And this is iPhone 11 Pro Max in the color gold. And by the way guys, yung mga makikita yung apps dito are mostly self-care related apps. Since yung mga apps ko for school ay nasa iPad ko. If you haven't watched it, what's on my iPad, links will be down below or here or here. Anyway, let's just begin. So, upon opening my phone, makita niyo yung wallpaper ko. My wallpaper is just from the Apple and my home screen, I got it from Pinterest. And your first page or your home page are all the apps which are pre-installed or yung mga apps na kabili mo ng phone, nandiyan na sila. At some of them, hindi mo na sila mag-erase kasi galing talaga sila sa Apple. But I have here itong isa, which is Google Photos, na dinownload ko. This is a lifesaver for me kasi yung storage ko is hindi na pupuno because of this app. And as you can see, mayroon akong workout videos na hindi ko pa ginagawa. And then, sa bottom part, or yung pinaka-baba, makikita nyo doon is yung phone, Safari, Messenger, and Spotify, which I put them here since Ito yung mga apps na talagang ginagamit ko that much. Especially the phone for phone calls. Safari for search, to search something. And then, message to really reach out to your family or friends. And Spotify to listen music. And if you want my playlist, I will just put my playlist down below. So if you want it, just check it out. And then, on the second page, itong first for rows ay mga queen salt apps nga from the Apple mismo. And except for this dictionary or the Merriam Webster, which I use to check words which I do not know the meaning. For example, I scroll lang ako through my social media accounts and then meron ako na encounter in a word na hindi ko alam ko no meaning. I was just gonna search it using this Merriam Webster. So, yung natitirang dalawang row ay mga social media apps ko which are Facebook, Messenger, Instagram. You can follow me on my Instagram which is at Roland Rose. And then, Twitter, YouTube of course, YT Studio, Gmail, AdSense. So, ngayon, di pa na tayo with the last page. And as you can see pala, hindi naka-folders yung mga apps ko because I don't know why pero... Mas gusto ko na siya na ganito na slide, 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 slide na lang. Kesa sa magbubasa ko ng folder and all. Yun, share ko lang. And for the first app, the last page is Pinterest. This is where I get my inspiration for my room, projects, and many more. Yeah. And then, next is a Lightroom. This is where I edit my Instagram photos and my YouTube thumbnail photo. And then, Cam Scanner, I use this to scan documents. Music, which I do not really use since I have Spotify. Browser and Share It are somehow school related apps. Kasi, yung Share It ginagamit ko to, like when you have a friend na magpapa share it ng photo. Kasi, sometimes hindi lahat ng mga. People around you are using Apple, so hindi siya pa ding airdrop kaya share it na lang. And then I also have here Beauty MNL or Beauty Manila, which I use to purchase my skincare. But now hindi ako makabili ng mga skincare ko kasi quarantine at hindi siya nagde-deliver. Sad. And then Shopee and Lazada, of course, they're online shops. And then I have here Telegram. I just use it to send pictures and videos sa friends ko and sa family members ko. Kasi hindi bumababa yung quality pag sa telegram nagsasend. Not unlike with messenger, di ba? Now, you know, quality yung pictures. And then, I have this Canon Camera Connect, which I use for my camera. If may akong gustong video or photos na agad i-transfer yung sa phone ko, pwede through this app. And then, of course, TikTok. Yes, TikTokers. Sorry, hindi po. Hindi pa ako nag-upload ng video sa TikTok. I just watch TikTok videos or I create TikTok videos but I do not upload them. And I also have here VLive which I use 
do watch live videos of my favorite K-pop group. And view for, of course, K-drama and South Korean this and then Weavers. It is like an app for fans of K-pop. And then, I have your I want. Dinalan ko po tong I want na to kasi nakita ko si Mommy na nanonood ng mga Filipino movies and I remember na meron ako mga hindi na panood na Filipino movies which I can watch through this app for free. And then, ito na yung mga sinasabi kong self-care apps na ginagamit ko. First is Flow. This is for tracking your menstrual cycle kung kailan yung next period nyo. Nagiging accurate lang siya siguro kapag ginamit na niyo na siya. How about boom boom? Kapag ginamit niyo na siya for about siguro 3 to 4 months, kapag nakita na niya yung cycle ng menstrual niya talaga, magiging accurate na siya. Like siguro around 89% accurate. And then what I like about this app is it has health insight where you can read some articles about us women. Next is the app called Alobod. This app is parang all-in-one reminder app about your health because it has reminders that you should breathe in, breathe out, drink water, exercise, take your medicine, take shower, of course, and many more. Ito nyo naman, di ba? Yung move. <laughs> Nakalagay never. Kasi never pa ako nag-exercise. It's quarantine, which is about one month already. Nice one, di ba? So, let's now go to the next app, which is the hashtag self-care. I use this app pag I want to calm myself or sobrang dami na nang inisip mo or thoughts in your mind. And then you just want to calm yourself down. Kada pindot mo sa isang bagay or isang gamit, there is like a quote which would help brighten up your day. And then I also have here this Stoic app. This app is like a digital journal wherein you can put down your thoughts, your feelings, or how do you feel this day. It is an app that lets you express yourself. And then, ito, favorite ka rin tong Chloe. Chloe, anong pronunciation ito? It's an app for skin. Yes. Yung favorite part ko dito is itong parang meron siyang news feed wherein people share their thoughts or reviews about the certain products or if may hinahanap kang products for your skin type or kung anong problems na meron ka for your skin, it will really help you a lot. So next is the Luffy Radio. I use this app kapag mag-skincare na ako and pag nag-aaral ako kasi napaka-relaxing ng music na marinig nyo from this app. What I don't like about this app is that hindi mo na pwedeng i-rewind or ulit-ulitin yung mga napakinggan mo na na music kasi nga radio siya. So kung ano yung nag-play sa lahat, yun na yun at yun na yun. So last but definitely not the least is this hashtag bubble na app. That's yung pangalan na tayo daily bubble girls, daily bubble app. Basta may daily, tapos sagrata na ako ngayon na hashtag Bible na pala siya ngayon. This app really helps a lot, especially with me, kasi I personally do not read Bible every day or every month. Talagang hindi ako masyad nagkabisa ng Bible. But this app is not just a Bible app, but it sends notifications to you. Upon seeing, syempre, the notifications, you're gonna have time to read it. And then, after reading it, parang I got to reflect what happened throughout the day, what happened throughout the week, throughout the month, and those readings that I read, I relate to them to what happened to me recently, which is really a great, 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 great thing for me. So yes, guys, I guess that's it for this video, and I just want to send you virtual hugs, especially during this time, and I hope that you are all safe, and let's just keep on praying, stay healthy, stay at your home, drink a lot of water and vitamins, and yeah, I guess that's the end for this video, don't forget to put some sub subscribe to my channel, and comment down below any video suggestions you want me to do next. I'll see you on my next one, bye!